There's a high-powered new business venture in the works to create a national brand to sell and want to be precise, uh, to sell marijuana. It's the brainchild of a former Microsoft uh, high executive and the former Mexican president, Vicente Fox. They are supporting it. I'll speak with both of them in just a moment. Let's get some background, though. First, from Mary Snow. She explains what they're trying to do. Uh, Mary, give us some perspective. Well, well, simply put, the goal is to corporatize cannabis and build the first national name brand of retail marijuana. Mexico's former president, Vicente Fox, who supports legalizing marijuana, joined Jamin Shively, an ex-Microsoft manager, at a news conference this afternoon in Seattle. Now, Shively says his company has acquired a chain of medical marijuana dispensaries in Washington state and is close to acquiring another one in Colorado. Both states have legalized recreational use of marijuana along with its use for medical purposes. And Shively sees this as a turning point. This is a unique moment in history. The Berlin Wall of the prohibition of cannabis is weak and it is crumbling as we speak. But there are still federal laws that make all of this illegal. One critic, Mark Kleiman, whose company consulted with Washington State on their marijuana laws, thinks the company has put a target on themselves. And he told us he's concerned it will set back what he calls the good work being done in Washington State. Well, Mary, thank you. Uh, so let's uh, go to Seattle right now. The former Microsoft manager, uh, Jamin Shively, is joining us together with the former president of Mexico, Vicente Fox. Uh, and Jamin, I'll start with you. These are big plans. But as you know, marijuana still isn't legal in the United States on a federal level. Does that set you back? What's going on? Yeah, it's definitely uh, a constraint <clears throat> that holds us back, but only to a degree. Because here's the thing, the prohibition of cannabis should have gone out with the prohibition of alcohol back in the 1930s. If you simply look at the facts, cannabis is neither physically addictive nor is it physically harmful in any concentration. You can consume any quantity of cannabis and you're not going to kill a single cell in your brain, your liver or any other, any other part of your body. Compare that to alcohol compare that to tobacco. It is absolutely ludicrous that this naturally occurring plant is illegal according to federal law. That's what I refer to as the Berlin Wall. And the Berlin Wall is crumbling and we're in the process of dismantling it. So yes, it's one of those old obsolete laws which the federal government has the policy of not cracking, cracking down on those who are responsibly and legally uh, engaged in the business of cannabis. And the proof is in the pudding. Look at what the federal government's policy has been for responsible, legal medical cannabis dispensaries and grow operations. The ones who the federal government are going after are the true criminals, the ones who are either laundering money, evading taxes, or selling cannabis too close to schools. Well, so for us and for the businesses that we're forming partnerships with and the ones that we're acquiring, there is very little risk. You know, there's a huge potential business opportunity out there if <clears throat> marijuana were to become legal. But uh, President Fox in Mexico, uh, it's not legal either. Where, where does Mexico fit into this? Well, first of all, Wolf, let me make very clear that I'm not partnering on this business venture. I'm not associated with the uh, plan at all in, in business terms. The reason for me to be here is precisely for what we are seeing happening in Mexico. Just the case you're treating today, this lady, I don't know if she is to blame or not, but those cases will be totally avoided if we proceed to legalize the use of marijuana. So I came here to a historic day to witness, to evaluate and support the, the process of uh, moving towards legalization and at the same time bringing back the peace and harmony that we badly need in Mexico. Well, Mr. President, uh, let me ask you about that. Uh, we know what the status of marijuana is in the United States. Some states have now gone ahead and legalized it. Uh, but what about Mexico? Is there any serious effort to legalize marijuana in Mexico? Well, in Mexico, consumption, consumption is not penalized. Only distribution, production, selling. 
uh, but consumption is not penalized in Mexico. The consumption in Mexico is extremely low. The problem of Mexico is being in between the mammoth consumer market of the United States and the drug producing nations of the South, like Colombia, Venezuela, and other. So my position is being totally in favor of moving to legalization. With this, we will avoid the violence. We will control the criminals and reduce their income. And at the same time, it will become a transparent, accountable business in hands of businessmen like Jamie sitting here by my side. How can I really make graphic the paradigm change is by me sitting here on the side of a businessman that now is going to participate in the process, uh, distribution, selling of uh, marijuana or cannabis on instead of having Chapo Guzman right. by my side, which is a criminal and which has done out of drug the most terrible situation for Mexico. Very quickly, Jamin, what's your next step? So our next steps, um, we're going to continue forming strategic alliances and making strategic acquisitions across those states where medical cannabis is currently legal. Uh, there is a giant opportunity for us to consolidate our number one uh, national brand leadership position in this industry and at the same time promote the responsible legal leadership uh, in the cannabis industry in the United States. So we've got a tremendous amount of work to do in the next several months. All right, uh, let me go back to the president, the former president of Mexico, Vicente Fox. Uh, get your quick thought on this Arizona mother who's now in jail in Mexico, charged with drug smuggling. Apparently, they accuse her of having, what, about 10 or 12 pounds of uh, marijuana on this bus. So she totally denies it. Uh, people are afraid, as you know, Mr. President, to go to Mexico right now. They're afraid they could be set up by authorities, as this woman alleges she was. Uh, that could severely undermine tourism to Mexico right now. That's one good example why drugs and specifically uh, cannabis and marijuana should be legalized. The problem in Mexico is something that is not ours. We just in between the huge consumer market here and the production nations in the South. So what, what we need to do is this nation to be coherent. This nation, United States, to take decisions like the one that has been taken in Washington State, in Colorado State, and in Maryland. That's the way to go. And federal government, the government of President Obama should pay attention to what public opinion is thinking, to what citizens are thinking, and what citizens are voting for. And in the case of this state, they voted for legalization. Right. Now, federal government, central government has to recognize what is going on and move faster towards legalization. This will change the whole situation in Mexico as well as in the United States. Vicente Fox uh, clearly is very passionate on this issue. So is Jamin Shively. Guys, uh, thanks so much for coming and I'm sure this conversation will continue.